I need a companion, a bodyguard, someone I can talk to. Say yes, Scott. Mr. Carson, please expecting you. I call this palatial kiss. Wow. Your happiness means everything to me, Scott. You make me feel so young. Such a loving man. Is this the kind of life you want for yourself? My eyes are open, Rose. I promise. It, it really it was not the kind of thing uh, I hesitated, and I assume Michael did w would hesitate about at all. It was this was this was a real opportunity, and I and we and we both jumped at it. Um, and uh, and in terms of of being in bed with Michael Douglas, I now have things in common with Sharon Stone, and you know that's really <laughs> great. Glenn Close, you know, we uh, we can all go out and and now trade stories. <laughs> <laughs> Demi Moore, you know. <laughs> uh. When Matt told me the story of his Brazilian spray tan, um, I just felt that it would really, that the world really needed to uh, see this. And so I was looking for opportunities and, um, and we found them. And so I'm, you know, you you give give the people what they want, and they'll show up. We were trying we were trying to make do this scene where just to interrupt for a second, we were trying to do a scene where it, we wanted it to be a domestic. It's an argument. Stephen staged it so that as the argument builds, I get closer and closer to the bed, and eventually end up in the bed because, like you know, as with married couples, sometimes you get in an argument at the end of the day, and it's not like you're going to leave the marriage you're just you know it's time to go to bed so Stephen staged it as the argument built I got closer and closer and I had explained him in the, this parking lot in West Hollywood about my Brazilian tan line um, that I had to get to make some of the outfits fit and not show a tan line and uh, Stephen sat there listening and I said it would be really great I said it's the wrongest thing you've ever seen um, what if by at the end of the thing I you know I drop the robe and get into bed and you see the you know, Brazilian tan line. And Stephen just looked at me for a long time and he goes, oh, I know where to put the camera. <laughs> so, so I'm really proud of that scene because it's thrown away. And, and Stephen, and I'm, it's, it's my, my, my behind is very large in the frame, but it's out of focus because the focus is thrown deep to Michael. Will you see you it know? tonight, baby? Yeah, yeah. yeah, so we'll see it on the biggest screen ever tonight, which would be jarring. I'm sure. I, I did warn, you know, this way, because I've worked with this whole crew seven times, I did warn every guy on the crew. I said, listen, this is not something you can unsee. So you're all welcome to look, but you can't unring that bell. So I'm just warning you, it will, it will be seared into your memory if you choose to look.